Hello Gemini, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Gemini. It's gonna be looking at your partner. So um, what are they thinking? What are they doing? Um, what are they currently experiencing? How do they view you or the connection? What are the mutual energies between you? And what would they tell you if they had the chance? So we're gonna look at all of that in this reading. First, I'm gonna be looking at what is your person experiencing right now gemini so what is your person going through right now wow what what is going on hold on for gemini spirit tell me about gemini's person what are they experiencing right now now roles can be reversed so feel free to flip the roles if they resonate and timing is fluid so whatever situation i talk about today could have already happened be currently happening or happen in the near future what is this person currently experiencing? What are their current energies at this moment? Spirit, Gemini's person, please. What is this person currently experiencing at this moment? Intention. Okay, number 22. What else is this person going through right now? I also wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who has left me such kind comments. I really appreciate it. Anybody that has subscribed, liked the videos, thank you so much. Ooh, we got storm warning and journey. Okay. So I feel like this person is experiencing some sort of tower moment. That's how I see this card. Um, also, it's a 10. So it tells me that something here is coming to a close. Um, and if you look very closely, there's like a temple or something, a building that was once standing and there's a tornado kind of um, destroying it. So that's why I think of it as a tower. So I think your person is going through something difficult right now. Um, something that's possibly forcing them to rebalance their life here and journey. I feel like this person um, could live at a distance from you or is planning to go on a different path. This gives me um, a lot of um, the similar, um, I'm thinking about the fool. I don't know why I can't talk today. I'm thinking about the fool when I look at this card. Someone ready to take a leap of faith here, try something new. All right, Gemini, so let's see. What is this person's intentions towards you or how do they view you? How does this person view Gemini? What are their intentions towards Gemini spirit? How does this person view Gemini or what are their intentions? Oh, okay. Towards Gemini. How does this person view Gemini? How does this person view Gemini? What are their intentions? Okay, Panther. Wow. Another tower card. This card's like the tower card for me in this deck. Um, this is somebody that comes in and just kind of wipes everything out in, a, in a, like a karmic fire. <laughs> so this person, I think they view you as someone who is going to like rock their world, turn it completely upside down. There's going to be endings and beginnings here with you in the sense that something's not going to be the same when they finally make their move, when they talk to you, when you guys are together, whatever the case may be. Um, I feel like there, there's going to be a, um, how's, what's the word, a shakeup when that happens. Then we got dragon. This is one of the spirit cards here. This is all about seeing yourself clearly, looking deep within your soul. I'm going to look at that a little bit more in the book in case I can um, get any more insight for you guys. But the dragon is all about kind of, it's like a mirroring effect where it forces you to look at yourself realistically. Tell me more. So I feel like this person views you as someone that they can't hide from or they can be their complete selves around you, Gemini. Wow, that's way too many. It's like you, you force them to be honest with themselves. Tell me more for Gemini, please. Octopus, wow, entanglements, clinginess, attachment. So I'm going to be honest. This person could think that you are a little bit over overwhelming. Or this person has a serious attachment to you. Like almost unhealthy here with the octopus. 
bottom of the deck i have the frog so cleansing healing energy here let me look at the dragon real quick from the spirit cards seeing one's most true self yeah this is somebody here who i feel like they either can be their true selves around you gemini or you force them to look at themselves in a way they haven't before. I really do sense that. So let's see. I'm going to look at my handmade oracle deck here. Messages from your person. What would this person tell you right now if they could? Spirit, what would this person tell Gemini right now if they could speak to Gemini? If they could be honest with Gemini, what would they say? What would this person say to Gemini if they could? Well, what would this person say to Gemini? Well, okay, fine. Okay, divine timing is at play. Interesting. I'm sorry. Okay, so someone here wants to apologize again i'm getting that's probably what what this is what um this intention card is possibly about i kind of wanted to see the rest of the cards before i talked about this card because this is someone who has an idea in mind who has an intent a goal um but i, I wanted to see what that was i think this person might be wanting to communicate um and apologize I also think this person is on their own personal journey here. Um, something has has been like a huge shakeup for them in their life. And they're ready to kind of take a leap of faith here. Is what I'm seeing. What else would this person tell you? Okay. That one just flew out. Fear is holding me back. Okay. So this person knows what they have to do. But they're scared tale as old as time all right gemini let's put out some tarot here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna look at the mutual energies between you i'm gonna use one deck to lay out a first few cards and then another deck to clarify and i'm gonna use my two newest decks here if i could pick up this last card please bear with me oh my god okay here we go so um the um the first deck is this one is the druid tarot deck i'm gonna I always list what decks I use down in the description box, so check that out. And then I also got the Lightseer's Tarot deck, which I love so much. I've been playing with it recently, so can't wait to use it. Now this drew a tarot deck, please don't make fun of me. This is a huge deck, okay guys? My hands are only so big to shuffle this one, so bear with me. Spare, what are the mutual energies between Gemini and the person they are connecting with? Future energies, please, for Gemini and this person. Future energies, please, for Gemini and the person they are connecting with. What are the mutual energies? All right, Gemini. Let's see what we have here. Eight of Cups reversed. So this is someone that could be coming back around in your life here. Queen of Cups reversed. Wow. This is someone very needy, clingy. That octopus energy, for sure. This could be the person you're dealing with or the person that whoever you're dealing with, they could be dealing with this person. Someone, now I'm not saying that there is a third party, but I'm saying this could be someone in their life. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a partner. It could be a family member, a friend. Someone here is emotionally um, out of whack with the Queen of Cups reversed. Um, possibly because this person is going on a journey here away from them or just leaving in general going on a journey and this person is in their in their head about this this could also be the state of your emotions when this person returns it's almost like you're not going to know what to do you're going to be in your emotions about it possibly a little unbalanced because of you probably weren't expecting them to come back three of pentacles this is collaborating, working on something together. 
building something here. And King of Wands. A lot of passion here. Someone wanting to take action and make a move here. Bottom of the deck. What do I have? Oh, the higher font. Beautiful energy. This person could be back, could be back wanting commitment here with the higher font. It could be a Taurus, could be a uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, or it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It does not have to be. Those are just the signs that are showing up in these cards. But these tarot cards are not just zodiac signs, guys. Okay, these these cards represent energies. So someone could be a fire sign or they could just be someone that wants to take action. Someone who's a natural born leader, someone who is very um, passionate and creative and goes after what they want. Okay. It doesn't have to just be one thing. I just want to mention that because I know I'm going to have some people in the comments. All right. So let's clarify these energies and see what this is all about. But so far I see someone wanting to return. I see someone who um, has been very emotional about this, um, a little possibly needy or just insecure. I have the three of pentacles, someone wanting to build something here and the king of wands, someone who's going to get what they want. Um, and then of course the higher font under the deck, this is all about commitment. So let's see. Spirit, help me clarify these energies, please. For Gemini. Let me clarify these energies, please, for Gemini. Oh, my cards are going to get all messed up. Oh, well. Let me clarify these energies, please, for Gemini. Okay. Okay, let's see. That's going to bother me. All right, Spirit, tell me about this Eight of Cups reversed for Gemini, please. Tell me about this Eight of Cups reversed for Gemini. Tell me about the Eight of Cups reversed for Gemini. Four of Swords reversed. This person's very restless about coming back. This person also, there could have been... Um, not much communication between you two and now this person's ready to communicate ready to restart this this person could be waking up to the realization here that they want something new with you or that they want to return to something here tell me more about the eight of cups reverse for gemini tell me more please about the eight of cups reversed king of wands reversed Oh boy. Um, that is a very strange energy. This King of Cup reverse is very similar to this Panther energy. Someone who is just on a rampage. King of Wands reverse is also someone who only cares about how they appear. Um, they only want to have fun and do what they got to do. They don't care, you know, who they affect. I feel like this person, when they return, someone here is going to be like really upset. I don't know if it's going to be you, Gemini, or if it's going to be someone in their life. Why the King of Wands reverse? Why this King of Wands reverse here? King of Pentacles reverse. What is going on? What is going on? So there's two people here. One, two, three, four people here. There could be just too many too, uh, interference. This King of Pentacles is very um, greedy and selfish. Not a good person, not a good partner either. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups reversed. This could also be that this person is going to lose something or be financially irresponsible or or lose something financially with the King of Pentacles reverse. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups reverse, please, Spirit. Where's the Eight of Cups reverse here? Four of Cups reverse. 
it doesn't matter this person has found an, another four by the way this person is interested in something again there's a regained interest here someone who didn't who passed up on a choice before has realized they want to make that choice now does that make sense it's like at some point they weren't sure about which cup to choose they were kind of bored not interested at all and it's like now they're interested something has shifted for this person and now they can't wait to return and when they do there's going to be a tower moment tell me about this queen of cups reversed it's like this person is going to either upset a lot of people or a lot of people are going to be shocked or try to talk them out of it possibly or just he's going to have a lot of conflict tell me more about this king of cups reverse spirit for gemini please page of cups so okay this person could be wanting to apologize here with the page of cups to this queen of cups reverse i feel like this person did a number on this queen of cups reversed this could be you gemini um i feel like whatever happened between you in the past wasn't good or you are emotionally shut off from this person or just very emotional when it comes to them and by emotional i don't mean it has to be somebody who cries right like who sobs and has it but emotional like 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 they do something to you emotionally like you have a reaction when this person returns you're going to have a reaction when they apologize tell me more about this queen of cups reversed this could also be someone expressing how they feel five of pentacles reversed yeah they're going to tell you they want to come back in i feel like you shut this person out at some point and now this person wants to come back in out of the cold tell me more about this queen of cups reversed for gemini whoa whoa that is way too many my cards keep moving and it's bothering me tell me more about this queen of cups reversed for gemini please page of swords reversed so this person could have not been honest in the past or something here where there was bad communication or a message was intercepted um or a message was not received well with the page of swords reversed i have the six of cups reversed under the deck so i feel like someone's been stuck in the past it's like this person has not been able to let go of the past. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles, please. What's this Three of Pentacles about? For Gemini? What's this Three of Pentacles about? Three of Swords reversed. So this person's going to tell you, um, you're coming out of the, it's almost like, okay. Whoa, hold on, my brain. Okay, Gemini, there's two ways this could be, this could go um this three of swords reversed is for me someone who's overcoming heartbreak who's healing from a painful situation this could be you or your person um i feel like this person's going to tell you that they want to heal this connection and work on this again with you that's for for some of you right for others of you there this person um is gonna it wasn't this was a third party situation and they chose someone. Bottom of the deck, I have judgment reversed. There was a bad judgment call here that was made at some point. This person has realized this. They chose the wrong person for some of you and they wanna tell you they wanna work on rebuilding this connection. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles. Eight of Swords reversed, yeah. So, someone here at some point was stuck and they no longer are stuck uh, mentally. They're no longer mentally trapped. They've overcome that, this fear. This fear was holding them back. And now they've, they've overcome that. Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles, please. Ten of Cups reversed. Whew. 
Wow. This person was stuck in a loveless connection or a connection where they were emotionally depleted. I also feel that some of you, some of you have healed from a connection, but, but are still unhappy. It's like some of you have healed from the heartbreak, but that hasn't made you happier. Does that make sense? Regardless, this person is going to come in and tell you that they want to work on something here with you. Tell me about this King of Wands. This is someone on a mission. This King of Wands. Tell me about the King of Wands, please. Five of Wands reversed. Yeah, this person has overcome all of the drama. This King of Wands. There was a lot of drama he was dealing with. Um, let me see, let me move down the, so you guys can see. This person has overcome a lot of the drama that he was dealing with in this connection or in the connection they were in, um, or just drama in their life in general. This doesn't have to be a third party situation. I'm just mentioning it for those of you who are in a third party because I did have the three of swords there. So I feel like, remember how I have a whole bunch of people here that are mad? Oh, I have an ant. Go away. Um, remember how I have a, a bunch of people over here who are upset? I feel like that could also be a third party interference. You know, people that are interfering in a connection. It could be that someone works too much and that is a third party situation because they, they are neglecting everything but their work. You know, fill in the blank. Anyways, this person has overcome all of that drama. And again, I have the six of cups at the bottom of the deck because I feel like their eye has always been on the, on the prize, which is the past. Tell me more about this King of Wands, please. Spirit, what can you tell me about this King of Wands? Page of Pentacles reversed. Uh-oh. Why the Page of Pentacles reversed? Why the Page of Pentacles reversed? Two of Wands. The world reversed. Okay. So this person, at, okay, I, I'm seeing this now. Okay. So with the world reversed, and then again, I have, um, I have the hangman under the deck here. So this person was refusing here to close a chapter and it caused a huge delay. Um, there was a huge delay here because this person was dealing with drama and arguments and disagreements and whatnot. And so it was very difficult for them to close a chapter. There was a delay here in this offer with the Page of Pentacles reversed. Something stopped this offer from coming in and it was all of this, this drama. Um, I feel like it caused someone to be stuck in a connection, unable to let go with the hangman reversed. This could also be someone who um, th there hasn't been closure, right? There hasn't been closure regarding an offer that never came for some of you. Let me get one more for this King of Wands. I hope I'm not confusing you guys. I know um, I've gotten some comments where people are like, I don't know who you're talking about. Is it one person or the other? And I completely agree with you. I'm just getting so many messages and there's so many interpretations and you know, there's a lot of you watching these. So I'm trying to cover as many scenarios as I can. And so I feel like that just ends up confusing you guys. Hopefully that's not the case in this reading. Anything else you can tell me about the King of Wands? Okay. Ten of Wands reversed, Queen of Cups reversed again. Yeah, this person was carrying a heavy burden with this Queen of Cups reversed. This person was causing this person here, this King of Wands, to have a huge delay. This is someone who is very clingy, attached, um, erratic. Um, they are not emotionally stable. And so there was this burden this person was carrying, this Ten of Wands, and it was just too much. It was too much for this person. I think that 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 
caused a realization for this person that they no longer can keep doing this anymore. Like they, they can't keep doing this. And I have the two of swords rever um, at the bottom of the deck, not reversed. <laughs> I have the two of swords at the bottom of the deck. So it's like this person was kind of like stuck between a rock and a hard place trying to make a decision here. Yeah, look at that death right behind that. So it's like they know they have to end something and it took them forever to do so. There's a six of pentacles. They need to rebalance the situation to go after their empress. But they're not there right now. Right now, they're, I mean, I do get the sense, though, that this King of Wands is, like, going to have enough and just go after what he wants. He's not going to give a crap what anybody says or thinks. I don't think his fear is going to hold him back forever. I also think with divine timing at play here and the tower, the two towers that came out, I think that the divine is stepping in here to cause tower moments for this person to force them to realize you know what they have to do about this situation and they're gonna make a move because the king of wands he's somebody that gets things done he's somebody that gets things done period all right hold on this ant is bothering me excuse me sir <laughs> i don't like to kill ants is that weird okay guys Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it resonated with some of you. If it did, please let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you. Thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy my readings. And I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.